Techno Phantom X Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide the latest information about gadgets and technology. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Techno is one of the brands that the Chinese phone manufacturer Tranchin is using for its overseas markets, and most prominently, in Africa. The company has taken its Phantom lineup and has designated it as their flagship product lineup, meant to even reach new markets such as Turkey. So in its essence, it doesn't have much to do with previously released Phantom devices by Techno such as the Phantom 9. The company just sent us the first device in the new series for review, the Phantom X. It is top of the line as far as Techno's portfolio is concerned, but take the word flagship rather loosely here. The Phantom X is a slightly upgraded version of the recently reviewed Techno Camon 17 Pro. The Phantom replaces the LCD for an AMOLED panel and offers a more proficient camera setup too but the same MediaTek G95 powers up both devices. Don't judge it solely by the chipset, though. The Phantom X offers premium level features that boost the value of the device. The most notable one is the 50MP main sensor, same as in the Vivo X60 Pro Plus, aided by a proper 13MP telephoto camera, 2x zoom, and an 8MP ultra-wide unit with autofocus. The selfie side hasn't been overlooked either so the rather big punch hole on the front houses a massive 48MP main camera and an 8MP one for ultra-wide selfies. Techno Phantom X specs at a glance. Body, 163.5 by 73.8 by 8. 7mm, 201 grams. Glass front, glass back, Gorilla Glass 5. Display, 6.70 inches Super AMOLED, 90 Hz. 1080 by 2340px resolution, 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio, 385p. Chipset, MediaTek Helio G95, 12 nanometers, octa-core, 2x2.05 GHZ Cortex-A76 and 6x2. 0 GHz Cortex-A55, Mali G76 MC4. Memory, 256 GB, 8 GB RAM, micro SD card slot. OS slash software, Android 11, high OS 7.6. Rear camera, wide, main, 50MP, f slash 1.9, 1 1.3, 1 1.2 micrometers, dual pixel path, laser AF, telephoto, 13MP, f slash 2.45, 50mm, path, 2x optical zoom, ultra wide angle, 8MP, f slash 2.25, 120, 1 quarter point zero, 1.12 micrometers, AF. Front camera, wide, main, 48 MP, f slash 2.2, half point zero, 0 0.8 micrometers, ultra wide angle, 8 MP, f slash 2.2, 105, 1 quarter point zero, 1.12 micrometers. Video capture, rear camera, 4K at 30 slash 60 FPS, 1080p at 30 FPS, front camera, 1080p at 30 FPS. Battery, 4700 mAh, fast charging 33 watts, 70% in 30 minutes, advertised. Miscellaneous, fingerprint reader, under display, optical, FM radio, 3.5 mm jack. Aside from the cameras, the device has a big, curved 6.7 inch OLED panel to be proud of. It boasts a 90 Hz refresh rate and full DCI-P3 color gamut coverage. And, of course, there's an optical fingerprint reader placed underneath it. Other notable features include 33 watts fast charging, which should deliver a 70% charge to the 4700 mAh battery in 30 minutes, a full-fledged dual SIM plus micro SD card slot, and a 3.5mm audio jack at the bottom. And last, but not least, the Phantom X features a well-rounded premium-looking design with a patterned glass back, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, and an aluminum frame. It's a rare case of premium features combined with a mid-range soak that can potentially snatch some buyers from the big-named brands. The only catch is that the Techno brand isn't well established in many countries, so its main markets remain Africa and Turkey. No time frame has been given for a European release yet. Unboxing the Techno Phantom X The device comes in a big black box containing the 33 watts capable charger, USB-A to USB-C cable for data transfer and charging, a protective case, and a pair of headphones with a 3.5mm plug. The OEM paid special attention to the case as it features a soft touch, faux leather surface providing excellent grip. 
However, it doesn't wrap around the side so it leaves the edges exposed. It's still pretty elegant and barely adds to the phone's dimensions. Techno definitely hasn't cut any corners when it comes to the build quality and has tried to distinguish its device from the rest by introducing key design changes to the standard glass sandwich formula. The most noticeable design feature would definitely be the back. It has a textured surface and is, probably, made of Gorilla Glass 5, Techno sources don't align completely on that. The texture itself isn't anything out of the ordinary, it's just thin straight lines coming down from the top of the device. This surface is supposed to provide a better grip and eliminate smudges. Unfortunately, we don't feel a more secure grip than your normal glass back, but fingerprints and smudges are a lot less visible, we'd give it that. It's also slightly curved to the side, which helps with the grip. Another thing that stands out is the camera module. It has two levels, and the upper one protrudes a bit too much for its own good. The phone's body isn't exceptionally thin either, measuring 8.7 millimeters of thickness, so it all adds up to a bulky camera module. You get the three camera sensors along with a big LED flash and laser aiding the autofocus. The front panel is protected by a curved Gorilla Glass 5 sheet, and although the bezels aren't the thinnest ones we've seen, they look pretty symmetrical. The top and bottom ones look almost identical to one another, while the side ones are a bit on the thick side. Luckily, the panel is curved, so they don't look as big. What looks big is the punch hole for the front cameras. The distance between the two sensors is relatively big and eats away a significant chunk of the display. The cutout is placed a bit far from the side edge too, leaving little room for the icons and clock in the status bar. Onto the side frame, it's made of anodized aluminum, going well with the elegant blue color, which, by the way, is called Van Gogh Starry Night Blue. The frame on the side is so thin that it had to be widened around the buttons to accommodate them. Speaking of which, the power button and the volume keys are placed within a reasonable distance and are easily reached with your thumb. As we mentioned, the back panel is made of glass, probably Gorilla Glass 5 just like the front. Speaking of the back, here's the Van Gogh Starry Night Blue next to the Monet Summer which is considerably more flashy with a fresh-looking gradient suitable for the hot summer, hence the name. The bottom and top sides of the frame are flat with chamfered edges. The top makes room for the dual SIM card plus micro SD card tray while the bottom is business as usual, USB-C connector, loudspeaker grill, and the 3.5mm audio jack. All in all, there's little to complain about. The build feels premium and solid, there are a couple of original design choices, the button placements are ideal, the same goes for the under-display fingerprint reader, and the pattern back is welcome. Reminds us of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro to some extent. The only thing that feels a little too much is the cutout on the front for the selfie cameras. We get that it's necessary for the dual selfie camera setup, but we feel that it could have been at least a little smaller. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.